sort of, I guess, a longer sort of town thing. This is a community, isn't it? And it's great fun to be part of that and to see other people's work and take that in and let them see ours and sort of encourage each other, really, you know, to keep on going and not get down and just keep going with it and realise that it's the fun that it should be, I guess. Everyone's so nice and friendly and thrilled to talk to you about their work. You know, you sit at the table and then you, you get introduced to the person next to you and you, you strike up a conversation and, and you strike up a friendship then. Oh, comics, it's like the best community ever. I really like it. Um, it used to be a bit more male, but there's a lot more women coming in. Um, so we're really starting to get a core of people who all know each other. It's very friendly, creative. I went off comics for a long time because I thought it was just like superhero and stuff but I didn't really connect with it so it's really nice coming back to it I've actually noticed how the actual uh, things change where um, at, at, at one time people used to ape the sort of uh, the, 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 the sort of look of the mainstream comics now it's almost like a, a sort of uh, it, 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 its own sort of underground uh, ethic in the comics where it sort of comes more from manga and, and, and particularly from sort of Asian comics uh, when you look around at the artwork that they aren't so American in film. I've been here at Orbital now for about nine months. We just have a really good range of stuff here uh, from the retro stuff you know, we have vintage toys, we have uh, all sorts of paraphernalia, memorabilia. I, I think the smaller events do foster more of a community, and at the larger events you really need to push for it if that's something that you want to enjoy. The, the thing about these are, they are only about comics, whereas the bigger ones tend to be like, they've got a full-size wrestling ring and they've got signings from people that appealed in Star Trek The Next Generation and things like that. It's interesting because I think in, independent comics are actually doing better now than they have done for a very long time. And mainstream comics seem to be having a bit of a crisis with sales. Not a lot of people are buying the monthly comics anymore. All the people who are selling stuff are, are trying to do the same game. They were trying to find a place where we can get our comics for cheap. We all want to do a comic. You don't do it. it there's very few people honestly going, this is a massive, we're only doing this for the money. No, I don't think there's anyone here who's only doing it for the money. They are, they're in the wrong business. The kind of divide that goes on in the mainstream between these guys who are like doing book signings and stuff and the people who like are kind of looked down upon as being a bit geeky and stuff because they're collecting all this stuff. Like, what I like to think we're trying to achieve is, a, is, a, uh, is getting rid of that, you know? The small press type events are much more about being communal and I guess supporting one another. There's a, almost a moral support kind of aspect to it that's missing in the larger or more commercial type conventions. I think Kapow's sort of one of the, the biggest ones we'll have done, uh, the, you know, even including sort of before I came here. Kapow's kind of a, a bigger one for us that we're taking a, a chance on. I think Kapow's trying to capture the field to say the San Diego conventions, uh, I, I, I can't imagine what it's going to be like. Uh, if it lives up to the, to the advanced publicity, it should be quite an event, you know, completely different from this, you know, uh, more of a media service. It's, it's great actually, I, I, lovely location, lots, lots and lots of people, and um, people spending money, which is always good. No, well, I'm, I'm having a really good time, it's great. As far as I'm aware, there's a huge amount of stuff going on as far as panels, talking to creators, and sort of advanced screenings. There's been huge queues for all of that, and the game's constantly sort of shouting about what they've got, 3DS's to play on, it's all like, it's all happening, so it takes, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, the nice thing is I've seen a lot of people that I know that white sort of press from other conventions and they're sort of mingled in amongst people as well. I know it's just nicer, it makes it feel like it's more of a community rather than there's this list and then there's you, you know, at the bottom. So having the small guys in sort of brings diversity to the, to the nature of the comics you're going to see. And so, and, and people coming to visit want to see that diversity. Because you're not paying to come in here and buy stuff, you're paying to come in and enjoy it. Experience. 
Like normally, I've been to cons where like small press and indie is segregated entirely from the sort of main professional stuff, or it's got its own sort of little corner in the room and people go to one or the other. But here, they've just like spread us all around, so there's no like small press area at all, and that's worked out really, really well because I've had people walking past buying Spider-Man, buying my stuff, going on to buy Iron Man. You know what I mean? It's like a mixed in. It's cool. What, what I like about the smaller ones is that because the tables are cheaper, you get people bringing their own comics they've made to sell, which is always very nice to see. But here, which you wouldn't get at a lot of other places, you get a lot of big name mainstream creators like Marvel, DC, writers and artists. The power, I don't know, it's got a lovely warm, friendly feeling going on, which is just, I don't know, partly I like to see people happy. And from a business point of view, happy people like spending more money so it's good for everyone yeah really good it seems like it's a, this community is very tightly knit and everyone's really friendly like it's great we'd never we'd never been to anyone before especially dressing up like this so we thought we'd go all out and people's reactions are great like people are genuinely like impressed with the costumes now always want photos so yeah it's really nice really good atmosphere it's it's great i i never thought i'd meet a bunch of people and hang around with them while i was here There's so many the similar yeah, interests it's great as well you know everyone's really friendly and really sort of uh, really warm and sort of charming towards the costumes and things you know it is good it is good and we're not sure if we do the competition yeah. we just do this for fun yeah anyway yeah i do it anyway at home so <laughs> um i think like uh the fact that they're doing so many comic book films and you know thor and and that sort of thing uh brings more people into comics you know uh brings a wider audience so uh, I think that's really cool. You know, I think that like brings in loads of people who wouldn't necessarily, you know, uh, be comics people per se, but uh, you know, they they end up coming in and being exposed to other, you know, this this stuff uh, as well. If you're looking at the program, uh, it really is uh, a mixed media event, isn't it? Uh, the comics are increasingly becoming part of uh, a bigger media, aren't they? Not so much the comics themselves, really, but the uh, the characters in the comics, you know. I like, I like the cross fertilization of film and comics and, and computer games. I, th I think it's all, we're all you know, on the same, we're on overlapping turf, so it's good to mix that in as well. We've got um, a CD that comes with the comic, so when you're reading it, you're whacking the CD, and it's the kind of soundtrack to give you a bit more of a feel the whole thing. So we're really trying to capture that whole multimedia. 21st century ideal, you know what I mean? And that, that, that's what this, this event is about. It's like films, comics, games. TV series, games, you know, that, that's what it's about. So yeah, no, it's perfect for us. Do you know what? Geek is chic as far as I'm concerned. It's, I think, a lot of people underestimate the power of comics, the power of independent filmmakers, and the, the power of the geek. I think geeks are underestimated for passion. They have so much passion, they have so much love for what they do. And you take any convention like this, they sold out on Friday, on both days. And that's got to tell you something, that there's a lot of love and want for this kind of environment. And people love it because it's escapism. They can get away from the real world outside, they can come in and do whatever they want and never get looked at, criticised or scorned for it.